Hey, I'm Alex Charlo. I work in EA uh, Partners on a title called Deathbank Thongs of Virtue. Uh, so basically, uh, this is an all new adventure with Deathbank. You don't have to have played the first game, uh, and it's a much bigger adventure. Right now, Deathbank is hunting for uh, six mystical thongs of virtue, uh, which unfortunately were, they were created to uh, promote you know, world peace and harmony, but unfortunately they have corrupted everyone who wears them. One of the people that uh, has been corrupted is this very famous television chef uh, whose name is Wharton. And um, she was given the thong of cuisine to feed world hunger, but as Deathbank has started to discover, uh, her method of solving world hunger is to actually eat people and then feed the rest of the people with those dead people. So she's created a very successful restaurant chain called TGI Wharton's or TGIW, and Deathbank has infiltrated uh, the factory in order to hunt her down. There's a lot of different side quests in here that you're gonna go on. For example, you're gonna collect pieces of flair and do a lot of other restaurant-themed activities. So right now I've equipped myself with weapons that I think are gonna be the most effective in working my way through this factory. You're gonna see a lot of new enemies here, and a lot of new, uh, a lot of new weapons. So right now we've got these uh, these ninja security guards who can teleport behind me when I swing them. You've got these giant robots, and, and I'm armed with new weapons as well. I've got a machine gun. I've got a brand new sword. I've got different spells. I can equip myself with a bazooka and some grenades, although I've chosen not to. This game basically spans different time periods, and so there's a lot of new stuff to discover, uh, and it's huge. So we're working our way down right now. As you can see, it's a pretty big factory. You didn't really see a lot of indoor environments. This is a really, really big world. I'm gonna go ahead and use a new tool I have, which is my monocle, which allows me to uh, take enemies and turn them onto my side so they can help me. You can see these guys are gonna take on some of the smaller ninjas. And I'm almost dead, so I'm gonna drink a quick potion. You gotta be careful with a lot of those spells and special attacks because they only work for a limited amount of time. So if you're not managing your enemies, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble. And again, a lot of this game, much like the last game, is figuring out what's the best weapon to use at the right time. I'm using my ice hammer a lot right now because it's gonna freeze these guys who can teleport and stop them from moving behind me. See, there's a lot of guys in here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some uh, an ice cream sundae to heal. And here's Warden. Bathroom keys are hanging on the hooks to the left of the main entrance. Though where you're going, you won't even need the bathroom. Now, for the final part of your orientation, just come over here with me, and I'll give you a lesson in meat powder. See, there's much more. Uh, <laughs> The jokes are a little bit more adult oriented than uh, they were in the first game. There's a lot of uh, just really funny, unique themes. Yeah, the first game was all about who is this character. And the team, while they were building that game, realized, man, there, there's so many awesome things we could do with them, so many awesome places. And that's where this game comes in. You're going to see him in the West. You're going to see him in a World War II setting. And of course, you're going to see new kinds of quests. Like in this area, uh, I've got obstacles, which kind of throws back to a lot of uh, classic games. These are giant meat pounders, so I'm going to try to avoid them. And that'll take me to a new room. This is a hot plate room. Again, all restaurant themes. I'm going to have to battle guys in here while figuring out which is the safe hot plate to stand on. Now, as you turn up the difficulty, these kind of puzzles get harder and harder. Right now, we're playing on a relatively easy difficulty, just so I can show you what's going on. Uh, but if you like a challenge, definitely boost that difficulty up. Uh, now I've got to run through a very dangerous maze of uh, condiments, which Wharton uses to kind of uh, sweeten up her employees before she digests them. And now we are here in uh, her kitchen arena. You can see she... she has her own popular TV show, which is kind of a play off of the, uh, the Iron Chef series. Greetings, food production executive. Call me Wharton. Welcome to my kitchen arena, Death Spank. You certainly look delicious. So as in the first game, you've got plenty of jokes and dialogue options to go through. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through this a little bit. 
Fight? We cook. Tell your sous chef which ingredients to add. Then we'll see who will be eating who. Now, this is a complete standalone game. You don't have to play the first one, but if you have played the first one, you're going to see a lot of familiar characters and you're going to get to see how they evolve. So this bratty orphan was actually one of the orphans you rescued in the first game. Uh, now here, she's employed by Wharton in her kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare a dish for the uh, the judges. So I have my choice. I'm going to do bison. Maybe uh, bacon for some flavor. And parsley for some dressing. You've you got to make it nice. So she's going to make my dish. I can interact with all these characters here. Uh, but instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and watch her do her thing. She stands very close to flames. Very dangerous for orphans. Now I've got my dish. I'm going to take it up to the uh, Japanese judge. And the, the uh, boss battle begins. So I've got Warden here who's very, very strong. I've got her staff of, sh of uh, ninja chefs who are very dangerous. You can see I've got to manage my health already. Um, now, each boss in this game is, is different. You're going to be fighting uh, a whole bunch of them. You'll, you'll fight Santa Claus. Warden's got a very particular method of battle. Basically what happens is she will, as she takes damage, will eat her employees that you kill and, uh, and heal herself. She'll also eat the judges. I'm going to drop my shield of invulnerability. As long as I have that down, I can't really be injured, but it's a temporary spell. She was eating one of those guys a minute ago. She's grabbed one of her judges, and she's cooking him. And you can see she's gradually uh, increasing her health. These guys are working me. All right, how about a little uh, hell from heaven? You can see I've summoned literally hell from heaven. And blocking is really important here. You'll notice that I'm trying to time my blocks, and that way I can fill my justice meter quickly. And Sandy appears. Sandy's been helping you out on your, on your voyage. She's another familiar face from the last game. Um, she's the one that's kind of helping you collect all of these songs so that you can restore uh, the world in the way that it should be. Now, I kind of plow through that very quickly because I played this game a lot. Uh, but you're going to have a whole different weapon set when you come in here, depending on how many side quests you've done, how much you've played, um, what level you manage to level up to. And if you rush up difficulties, well, it can get really hard. So if you're someone with a lot of RPG experience, awesome. Um, you can turn up, turn difficulty up to hard. If you're someone who's brand new to RPGs, the great thing is there's you know an easy as well. So it's really great for everyone. Everyone can kind of get into it. There's a multiplayer. We've got a new multiplayer character which we're not showing today, but his name is Steve, who's a midget ninja who rides a very small unicorn. He can throw shuriken. He's got all the special uh, attacks. Sparkles of Wizard returns. So if you've got a brother or sister who's uh, who's watching you play, you can hook them up as well, and they can help you out on your journey. And that's pretty much the demo.